Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of digital logic design and today we will study product of some simplification. The minimize function obtained in the all previous examples were in the sum of product form. The simplified function in the product of sum form can obtain with a minor modification. The procedure for obtaining a minimized function in the product of sum form follows the basic properties of the boolean function. The ones placed in the squares of a map represents the min terms of the function. The min terms not included in the standard sum of product form of a function represents complement of a function. And from this observation, we see that the complement of a function is represented in the map by the squares not marked by ones. Or we can say that a function can have a value of 1 or zeros. All those binary combinations for which function have a value of 1 are represented by min terms and in the map are represented by ones. And all the remaining squares are complement of the given function or have a value of 0. Now, if we mark the empty squares by zeros and combine all the zeros using the laws of adjacent squares and make the function, we will have the function f complement because the function represents all the zeros in the map. Now, if we again take the complement of the f prime, we will get original function f. But now, this function will be in the form of product of sum due to De Morgan's theorem. Now in the given example, simplify the given boolean function into sum of product form and the product of sum form. The function consists of four variables and the min terms lies at 0, 1, 2, 5, 8, 9 and 10. So first of all, we will make a map of four variables which will have 16 squares and will mark all the given min terms with 1 as shown in the given figure and all the remaining squares other than min terms will be marked with 0 and these squares will represent all those min terms which are not included in the function so these min terms are actually the f prime or complement of the function now if we make group of all the adjacent squares which have ones will give us a simplified function in the sum of product form. Now if we make a group of all the squares which are marked with zeros as shown in the diagram, we will obtain a simplified function which will be f prime. And this function will be in the form of sum of product. Now we will again take the complement of the f prime and will use De Morgan's theorem. Like at first we will take the dual of the function and then we will complement each literal. Then we will obtain a simplified function in the product of some form. Now here we have a gate level implementation of the simplified expressions obtained in the last example. Both are shown in the figure A and B. The implementation of a function in the standard form is said to be a two-level implementation. Now, if you look at figure A, this represents standard sum of product implementation, where the function in figure B represents standard product of sums implementation. If you analyze, both functions are implemented in two levels. And this is the main benefit of the function in the standard form. Now consider an another example in which the truth table defines the function f. The function consists of three variables x, y and z and in the sum of min term form the function can be expressed as sum of min terms at 1, 3, 4 and 6 where in the product of max term form it is expressed as a product of max terms at 0, 2, 5 and 7. Or we can say that the ones of the function represents the min term and the zero represents the max terms. 
The map of the given function is shown in the figure. The squares corresponding to min terms are marked by 1 and the squares corresponding to max terms are marked by zeros. Now if the given function is given in the product of max term form, then at first we will make a map corresponding to the number of variables. Then we will mark all those squares by zeros which are given in the product of max term function and all the remaining squares will be marked by ones. Once all the squares are marked by ones or zeros according to the given function, then we can start simplification into either of the standard form. Or if we make a group of all the ones given in the map, we will have sum of product function and the function will be equal to x prime z plus x z prime. Now, now for the product of some simplification, we combine zeros to obtain a simplified complemented function. So the f prime will be equal to x dot z plus x prime dot z prime. Now if we take again the complement of f prime, we will have a simplified function in the product of some form and the function will be f equals to x prime plus z prime multiplied by x plus z. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.